Welcome to number four in our series of spreadsheets from the beginning. This time I'd like to talk with you about categories of spreadsheets. This is a distinction that I have come up with. It's not a formal distinction, but I think it will help you understand things that you can do with a spreadsheet. The first is the one you would think of most typically, some kind of an accounting or numerical goal. A second category is a tracking goal, keeping track of how many thises or thats occurred over a period of time. And that's frequently designed into a paper template that would be printed off and filled in by hand. A third kind of spreadsheet would be more of, instead of numbers, more of a data or text kind of a goal. And they're all made the same way. But if you think about the goals of them, it'll help you develop them more appropriately. Here's a, an accounting kind of spreadsheet, typically income, sales, expenses, something like that. And it will contain formulas and functions, maybe some charts, something like that. A tracking spreadsheet would be used to keep track of how many of something. And it might have a, a count or a sum or an average as functions that it uses. And frequently, it's made on paper. The, the data may be transferred back into the computer later to do calculations with, but it often starts out on paper. Finally, a data type spreadsheet uh, that's more text kind of usage might have oh, names and addresses, or medical data, or some other kind of it may have numbers in it, but it's more like a word-based kind of spreadsheet. And it frequently contains sorting, which you remember is show them all but in a certain order. And filtering, which is show me only some and hide the rest until I'm done. And very often, these kinds of spreadsheets are used for export purposes. This is just a brief introduction to categories, and then we can continue on with specific skills that you might use in those various categories.